I the use my imagination, I would say that Grand Chef might be a slice of life, harvest moon type game where you uh, run a restaurant or something. Yeah, it seems that there actually really is a mini game organized in the game. We already got a whole list of Japan's players and everybody else, especially it's like India. You know, they, uh, they've been having to do a fist fight to uh, fight somebody who's like, I mean, it's a experience on the RPG common sense on the downside. It's not the last issue. It needs my guy. You might want to cook yourself something like this game. <laughs> and we're off. Oh my god. Go on over the city. Baby, and I'm Seeing looking down at the boat. And that makes the 3 ds RPG library. It's like arriving at summer camp on day one and running into the guy you sort of know for a few minutes. You can go out. You're not really well acquainted and you don't necessarily think that you can get along. I'm a kind of really interested to see if they're going to fit. For those who don't know, the way to get me is just the monitor taken by John Tony Tang, the world's famous giant user, as tabletop RPGs became the best of the third culture, the ADA brand expanded from comics, novels, and other things. I've got a bit of negative bias towards the series since my early experience with A.D. was the greatest game of the heroes of the land. you ask Electronic Gaming Monthly who saw ugly bad guys as the game's greatest weakness. They are ugly, that does make the game worse. Is AD&D Slayer a 10 out of 10? Certainly not. 
Can I picture myself as a child sitting cross-legged in a wood-paneled basement on a rainy Friday night, losing myself in its labyrinths? Unequivocal. After the release of Slayer, rumors began circulating on message boards. It seemed that Slayer was just a prototype and Lion Entertainment was hard at work developing a sequel that would blow everyone away. Wait till you see Deathkeep. I was blown away by the demo of E3, and I can't understand why it's not getting more attention. The wall textures were beautifully detailed, and I was able to climb steps, etc. Dwarves running towards the camera. All right, Death Deep, you had my curiosity. Oh, just Chicago. And I write it's just a pile of your song dropped in cars and dragons. Death Deep, don't look down. It's just a bad scene. Instead of being able to choose everything for yourself, but then you pick from one of three pre-made characters. Dwarf Fighter, Elf Mage, or, for the Radical Centrist, Half-Elf Fighter Mage. Everything about this introduction just tickles me. Like this weird face on the difficulty select screen. What emotion is being conveyed here? That's my face when the Pizza Man shows up. That's me opening the box and finding that they accidentally put salami on my vegetarian girlfriend's pizza. Oh no, and then that's me realizing that I've got two entire pizzas to myself. I mean, wouldn't it be a shame to let this go to waste? They've traded out the more traditional 2D cutscenes with pre-rendered it's not the worst, but it's also not the best. Like it's been slightly. 
completely rebalanced to accommodate the action focus. I think it's just clear that Lion Entertainment had a better handle on 3DO hardware at this point. There's a lot of great visual detail, sprite work is by and large a big improvement, and the texture work really feels like it's playing to the system's strengths, using bold colors and simple designs. I've just gotta shout out the music. Every level I played had a solid original track, some of which are still in my head. sort of abruptly cuts out and starts again, which becomes noticeable when you're lost in gigantic, hour-long maze levels. Also, the noise that these soldiers make when you hit them is never not hilarious. As mentioned, the levels themselves are a big step up in terms of creativity. My favorite being the town. I love how they take a conventionally designed FPS level and turn it into a familiar environment. It feels natural to traverse like an actual RPG town, but there's an ebb and flow to the design that lets you explore without feeling hopelessly lost. A lot of items need to be identified with a magnifying glass, and most will grant you some great bonuses, like being able to travel through lava without getting hurt, or granting you damage-type resistances. Some of the levels are pretty huge, and they absolutely don't understand why you threw out the auto Weak drugs and easy? Unbelievable. Paywalling difficulty modes? That's low, Blue Forest story. So yeah, I don't think the translation app is going to be a particularly reliable companion throughout my adventures here. Visually, though, I can just see that the game has one of the most generic of JRPG openings. While playing the game, I wrote down a prediction based purely on what I could see. You play as a young person who has to make a pilgrimage to the shrine in the woods in some kind of a coming of age or like a you're an adult now type ceremony. On the way there, goblins attack. I assume that goblins are the ongoing problem of a The character uses latent superpowers to become a demon and defeat the goblin. Passes out and doesn't remember what happened. There's a time skip. Our main character is stronger and cooler than the goblins are back at this time with some help from the dark headbands. The main character becomes a demon again this time to hunt us up. Dice game has fully the wizard scared the locals into believing he's a major hundred monster, so he's imprisoned by the villagers. The cute childhood best friend frees the main character, but then his father, How many hours the dark father, was killed by angry villagers for supporting his own side. I'd love to tell you how I did, but even on his days off, all he wants to do is be wrong and spend time. I mean, the man practically worships. 
Uh, Best case, my friend, so it wasn't a problem to land a job at a shop. And after traveling for the last year, I could really use some free rent at a shop. So he was happy to help me out, but rest assured, I was highly unqualified to be. The entire time I was playing, I kept playing a Zelda's adventure on CDI. I don't know who was on the ride of that comparison. Yeah, I will say that the character portraits look pretty good. It seemed like they had some kind of an art style in mind that didn't really translate to the top down perspective. The PlayStation board would come out shortly after the 3 Similar they problem jump like death even though the tracks are too short, no. but the quality is there. Don't tell me that. <laughs> The game is very short. They try to make it right here by having two well, separate yeah. campaigns where you can get a look at either side oh, of some lucky, uh, the The work here is only the best for all of the ninjas. She's a prisoner I somewhere don't in the world. I love the trust is killed. The time skip is a number of summer existence. I also like how vastly different the opening is. Whereas the boy starts off in the generic RPG village, here it's more of a depressing industrial city. What really worked as a roadblock for me was the combat. It's a turn-based system that seems to have an emphasis on stances. There's an aggressive stance, a defensive stance, a counter stance, and you unlock more as the game goes on. Without knowing precisely what they do, or in what they're for, even the starting area is very, very difficult to get. Regardless, Blue Forest's story doesn't seem to have such a sterling reputation among even those who did play it. It just screams out. From the area designed to the animation work, it seems like an RPG maker project if you were a 3DO owner in Japan circa 1996 and hard up for a traditional RPG, this probably would have gotten a job. Oh, wait, let's look at the worst. That's a damage. All the other kids that have PS1, Final Fantasy 7, you're stuck in the 3DO playing Blue Force and Celery. <laughs> if a game I'm playing is featured in a YouTube video with over 2,000 views, I consider it popular. If it has a Wikipedia article, it's AAA. With that in mind, Robinson's Requiem was a summer blockbuster. Although I don't know if the game was released in summer, and I can't get some police like I anyway. The 3D animation was very smooth. I was yesterday. And we're walking to work. It's really nice. Signs out it's a beautiful day. Desired level of expansion. And uh, I'd say this beats the hell out of commuting to work yep, in the U.S. Where you know, it's jam into a car time. and get on a highway. Robinson's and Requiem is a survival game. Yeah, the RPG nice. elements are on the lighter side, but hey, I'm trying I'm to be thorough here. here. The user interface there. allows you to switch between uh, the character and the user 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 and the and, uh, I don't have like, a uniform or anything, I'm not properly nothing, trained, I'm not aware of resources and increase your viability by getting to know your small open world. You'll uh, encounter other Robinsons, extremely out of my comfort zone, but it's alright. Promptly <laughs> kill them for their stuff. Welcome to my holiday camp. A knife can be used to cut leaves off the tree, collect resin, scrape the pillar of rocks, and I kind of know. As a game, you can do it on here. That's right, I'm going to be able to do it. you to constantly scan yourself in the medical window. Injury size will affect vision. You can okay. develop a new okay. if you sleep right. in a damp day for too long. If you sleep in a damp day for too long, you can sleep in a damp day for
received the credit it deserved. Can't strictly be related to the 3DO's popularity Bitch. either, since it was also available no on computers. Oh my god, survival Bitch. games did exist prior to Requiem. Games like Oregon Trail or Wilderness and Survival Adventure. It was focused on delivering a high-level overview of the survival experience. Probably directly the forces on the content with nature from the perspective of the survival itself. That said, it's not all fun and games. In fact, it's not fun at all. Interacting with the UI using a D-pad power cursor feels like a battle all its own. I'm not having a small day today. That's all right. I don't have very many good days. I don't have very good many days anymore. Good, very many days. One, two, three. Woman just like I remember her. With a polyester leopard skin top from Sears and a permanent. I picked up the DOS version from GOG just for the sake of comparison, and there are some notable differences. First of all, the game is basically unplayable. This is a uh, high resolution mode, by the way. In the PC version, level geometry is drawn using props, as well as the 3DO version uses extra map polygons. Fossils may have been more impressive and a lot of more natural looking environments, but because of the low resolution in either version, 3DO actually comes out on top of it. The game isn't the look at the best of times, but if you're using a modern... So I'm gonna preface this with the fact that the, so the part 2 is the same settings as it was in 556, uh, or when, when I was saying the 556, but anyway, the part 2 is, everything's all the way down except for the dry output, the attack, and the LP filter, and the dry effects is on red. Um, this time the loop 3 is on, the uh, loop 3 is on, and whatever, whatever. The Grand Orbiter is on, uh, I'll take a picture of all this, and uh, the Descent is on, so this will be in picture 2. Um, I am going from the A minor, or to, I think from, actually from the G chord to the e, A minor. Then a little bit of emphasis on, or emphasis on the third fret of the E string and the second fret of the E string. So that sounds like this, and hopefully I can just put this mic in the
sometimes I would go to the Sometimes that's when the G string play minor, but then sometimes it would go higher. So from the third fret on the E string, kind of open on the B and the G, and that goes open up to the um, seventh fret and the fifth fret of the E string. Then it goes so seven five zero. And so it was a minor or the G, depending on what it felt like was right. Um, and then we go all the way up to the 12th fret on the E string sometimes too. Which is a string So that that was an example going into the 12th fret. So it's Mostly A minor, G, then 3 and 2 and 0 on the E string, then sometimes 5, 7, and 12 on the E string. And there are these lots of things. And then sometimes I play around the A minor chord, keeping, uh, taking my index finger off of the first fret of the B string. Zero on the B string and then two on the G string. It's all the point there. Um, hope this comes through. Taking a picture right now. May June fifteenth. Awesome. Out of these nine stages, that their five of them do not even remotely fit the criteria the for a three stage. accessible phase of them being banned. However, the five of the four remaining stages are still kind of critics. Some have even resolved issues such as Dreamland having a glitch, or Pikachu's upbeat in dungeon crawl, seeing the different way teleporting across the stage. Movement is grid based, meaning it also the dark resources of the game that have developed the same points. From scene to scene, with some such as Brazil, Easy where the to only advanced stage master is a little not even bothered to just leave the year and have your stage. But the majority of the region wanted to keep whatever some enemy you're facing in the stage, as they understandably didn't want to be forced to play on only two or three stages.